Welcome back. Let's get right to it. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? I hope I still love photography when this is done. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. This diary literally saved my life. Search for David's number. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Um, Found you. I'm not sure. Um, David Madison. 630-8243 For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Hmm. It's the past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. If you want to read it, you can pause It doesn't that. matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Okay. Um, search. Victoria. It's nice to know how you really feel. Okay, I've seen that already. So, I need to talk to Kate again? Or what? Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. That's nice. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. That's because she knows the future. <laughs> anyway, that worked. Let's photograph her. I'd need that photo. Go back in time. All right. At least Kate knows people have her back. Let's get out of here, I guess. Uh, what's this? Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we just get out. Or talk to the guy or what? Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now. 
Do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. That's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be <laughs> innocent. Or guilty. <laughs> Well, thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or I maybe only so. one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> what happens now? Found him. Perfect. He worked out. That's great. Heading somewhere. Okay. West, I think. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. Oh, she's gonna crash, ain't she? I can't see part of the plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. gonna crash I think she's gonna crash cuz part of the plane was missing when we just woke up it looked like it's just totally white you can't see shit you see so I, I don't know I think something wrong is gonna happen we're almost in San Francisco I'm so stressed but I'm so excited too Nobody calls it Frisco. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. What happened? You stopped being innocent? <laughs> the beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. You can read this if you'd like to. Um, I'm not really gonna read it. Yeah. How the hell am I supposed to figure that out? I can watch that later. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. All right. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Yeah, something might be Please wrong. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. 
Thank you. Uh -oh. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful uh -oh. day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly uh with us anytime. I have a bad uh, feeling about this. I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. No. Just a bit. I didn't hear nothing. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Uh-oh. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. What's gonna go on? Oh, I'm glad I was wrong. I thought we were gonna crash. Luckily, we didn't. The Zeitgeist Gallery. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Can, uh, can Closer, I actually... Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from to the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... weird. Yes, life is strange. <laughs> Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Hmm. Well, I don't think there's more she wants to say. There I am. Along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. Can't talk to him. He seemed to just not want to talk to nobody. Turn his back. Anyway. This I heard is Mark the... Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs too. Hold on to it. His work is gonna be worth serious cash. Uh, this is the Zeitgeist Gallery, so I'm gonna try and talk to some people here. Are you Max Caulfield? 
bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Okay. Are you Max Caulfield? Got it, Bravo got it. on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece. Still talking to himself. Can I talk to this person? No. Uh, Mr. Let's talk to this one. So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. I'm lucky. I don't know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. Uh, Jefferson fooled us. Mark Jefferson was good about hiding his tracks. We were all fooled by him. Most of all, me. As you might know, I have a weakness for prestige. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. Excuse right? me, Max. I have to go call my wife and tell her I haven't broken my diet. No blackmail, please. <laughs> Surely have. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. Okay, anybody else I can speak to? Can I speak to this man? I was just gonna say man and nothing else. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, I could. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, very smart. Look at the pictures, though. It's not too shabby. Chubby, 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 chubby. I'll be chubby, chubby, chubby. <laughs> Young and grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. Good. Okay. Let's go this way. Black, I do not understand art. You don't? <laughs> it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is look at it. Um, there. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. Thank you. I guess everybody is a photographer now. <laughs> they all have a camera on their phone, so yeah. Um, excuse me, I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Here on the flag, Max Carl. All right. 
Hi, I excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally did your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images, so I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. That's awesome. Okay. Um. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Bleed. Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. Max, holy shit, man, your vision. It's, it's true. You, you saw the tornado, it's coming. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe! Sick. Can you hear me? Oh, Hello? geez. Hello? How lucky can you be to be oh <laughs> away God. from the tornado? The tornado. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. What? What there am I supposed to do? There has to be a way to stop this, for good. Oh, jeez. What am I going to do? Is she going to focus on her own picture? That's just not fair. Look at this print. The depth of field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium form. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. How do I do that? Do I leave the area or focus on the picture? I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should talk to him. Nah, that's not really gonna help. Cause what is he supposed to do? I think the only way is to focus on the I picture. I do not understand art. How much would you pay for that? Like that picture right there. I got to. I have to. I have no other choice. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your Jeez. work. Sorry, but... Breaking it. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Thank you. 
What's gonna happen? Oh, fuck. Back in jail. God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. <laughs> what are you saying, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Knock his head off. Fuck you. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh, I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid! Okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh. As if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He you burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. What's going on? Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss. Of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. Alright, this is where I cut it. See you on the next video. Hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching. Please.